so this is the designed amplifier having our design value 9.3k 1.4k and here instead of using 162k i actually fine tuned this value as 163.6k because of the nonlinear model of this thing right and because i have some rounding in selecting the, uh, this value otherwise if you take 162 low it's almost the same maybe 0 0.7001 so i said why not to fine tune here and get some benefit of simulating the circuit so currently i disconnected the ac signal i am actually having only the dc supply here so i am going to see and validate the dc quantities so let's simulate here so here because this is already grounded so if i even if i put my marker here it will not be shown so whatever we will see we will actually see about emitter so at the base we are actually seeing vbe because e is directly grounded so it's you can see it's almost 0.7 right and how about we see e e is grounded so whatever we are seeing is about or with reference to emitter so it's nearly 7.85 that we have decided right and how about the collector current remember 5.75 was the value 5.75 milli so it's okay it's nearly that so dc characteristics are fine so far so let's see the ac characteristics the ac swing currently i have used 1 millivolt and 1 kilohertz signal so i am seeing the current so let's see the voltage vce total vc so this is total it's about the dc value right 7.86 was here right for us 7.85 so from 7.85 it is decreasing the total dc total vce and total vc and if you consider this as zero actually you subtract this dc value you will find the ac so after the capture you have only the ac signal right from zero so you can have you have only the swing ac swing right so this is your output voltage so how about the input and output together you can see you have applied only one millivolt and you are actually having nearly 260 or 280 uh, let, let's see ex exactly is 277.25 millivolt right so it's 277 right it's symmetric from negative side 27 minus 277.25 plus 277.25 right so it's good how about if i increase the amplitude is the output signal distorted or not so let's take uh, 5 millivolt simulate input we cannot see yes individually we can see that we are applying this much voltage but together it's very small oh sorry i have selected the total one so it's about the dcvc so acvce and output vc so you can see it's negative is minus 1.4 how about positive is 1.3 why why is this or how about if i increase further let's take 10 millivolt we have amplification as far as this input is concerned we have amplification but it's not linear no more so so it's no no more linear right 2.43 positive peak how about negative one minus 3.162 it's not symmetric what is going on if we are increasing the amplitude it means for small signals it's working perfectly but how much is small we will see it later so i am going to just show you one thing that you have decided this right you are actually applying this input signal so as soon as this is small it is about q point and at the 
curve although it is a nonlinear curve but because of a small swing a small swing you are actually having in the within the linear region but as soon as you increase your vb by increasing this vi part of this will be the ac vb and this total vb will change so this is actually not linearly moving at both the sides of this curve so it means you are having non-linear amplification right so we will discuss it later so it means so far we have reached up to a point to see what we have learned so far and what open questions we have to this point that will open our mind for the next or upcoming lectures so we have learned so far the way to design an amplifier right besides designing an amplifier we have learned another amplifier another common emitter amplifier having no emitter resistance right we studied another common common emitter amplifier right so but how much output for an input we have achieved you you saw in our simulation that in our design as well that we have amplified output for a small input signal but how much amplified for example is it 10 times 2 times 4 times yes of course you can see uh, from the simulation that we have already uh, run so you can see that this much is the output peak and this much is the input peak so output divided by input is your gain can we do this computationally as we are also uh, have done computationally all the parameters writing by using equations theoretically can you do the calculation of gain the ac gain computationally yes it means we are now realized that we have to do ac analysis to have a gain so far user have not given you the value of the gain but it is the prime requirement it would be the prime requirement of a user to give you a required gain that i need this much gain for example 100 gain 10 gain 2.4 gain so your specifications includes this thing so you have to uh, bring it into your design parameter right so now we have realized that we need to have ac analysis and especially for a small input ac signals we realized it right in this lecture so in next lectures inshallah we will do ac analysis and we will then move toward that ac analysis to especially for small input ac signals and it is practical right amplifier means you are having a small signal and you are want to have amplified bigger ac output signal so input ac signal analysis is more beneficial as far as the amplifier or design of an amplifier is concerned so now we have a homework for you but luckily you don't need to submit it but please please do it if you want to be a design engineer right and if you want to do these kind of questions in your exam so please write the computations of amplifier design this of this lecture neatly on your notebook and simulate it as i did to verify the results and try to design a common emitter amplifier with an emitter resistance in this lecture we have not used the emitter resistance but in the previous lecture we had the emitter resistance in which we have just analyzed so use the same specifications please in we have used in this lecture and design the common emitter amplifier with an emitter resistance right please do it and if you have any problem in deciding the q point for that amplifier please do inform me i am going to open a discussion topic for this homework we will call it call it homework number one thank you very much